Welcome to another edition of Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Are you ready for it? Do you think we can handle this? Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a pink eraser battle royale. So I have an assortment of new pink erasers and uh, this is by all means not a, even a comprehensive sampling of the erasers, the pink erasers that are out there, but they're the ones that I happen to have. And we're going to compare and contrast and see which pink eraser really does a good job across a number of different popular pencils, okay? So, that's the, that's the idea behind the episode today. And let's start with meeting the erasers that we're going to be using and experiencing today. So, when you talk about a pink eraser, I don't know how you have a conversation about a pink eraser without the pink pearl. So it's been made for, you know, generations, for years and years and years. And I think when most average people are asked to think about a pencil eraser, this is what they think of. They think of a pink eraser and maybe specifically a pink pearl eraser. I mean, this really is the quintessential iconic pencil eraser. It has been made by a number of different companies over the years. It's been made in various places over the years. Of course, it started in the United States. Uh, Eberhard Faber, I think, was the first one to make the Pink Pearl. And uh, it is now, uh, from what I can determine, made in China. These were made in Malaysia for quite a while but apparently Malaysia's out, China's in for Pink Pearl. And so we're going to look at the Pink Pearl. And here, uh, you can buy them individually. You can buy them in multi-packs like this. They're very inexpensive, relatively speaking. Uh, they come in different sizes. This is the 100 size, which is the smaller. Uh, but they do come in larger sizes as well. But, I mean, right off the bat, we need the pink pearl. Okay, next up, we're going to look at this pink eraser from Staples. Now, this is also sold in a multi-pack, and I only have one left. And I can't tell you that much about it because I don't have the original packaging. But um, I think you came three in a pack. It might have been a dollar for the three. Not sure where they're made. I'm guessing they're probably made in Asia somewhere, perhaps China. Has the Staples logo on it, store catalog online. Doesn't really say anything about the eraser uh, per se. That information was probably on the package. So, okay, Staples. Next. The Milan. So this is an eraser that is pink and it's made of a synthetic rubber and it comes in many different colors. The one I use most frequently, here's one, <laughs> uh, sort of the before and after. This is well used in the green. They come in green, they come in pink, they come in white. Love the pink. These are made in Spain. Uh, so, there's the Milan Pink Eraser. Next, Up and Up smudge-free erasers. Those of you in Canada and the U.S. will recognize Up and Up is the store brand of Target. Here in Michigan, we call it Target. Uh, but 
Target brand is up and up and I think it was two for maybe 49 cents at school supply time and these are pink smudge free erasers beveled ends resist tearing paper uh, let's see what else we know about this they are made in China okay and um, recyclable container 100% satisfaction eh, it's an you know again it's an eraser okay so uh, Target is a very popular destination for people especially kids to buy their school supplies so I thought we should include uh, the Target brand eraser next another fairly iconic uh, eraser the Dixon pink carnation these were for a while made in Canada now of course they were made in the US uh, they're now being made in China I don't know if all these I don't know how many eraser factories there are in China these may all be coming out of the same place for all I know um, now Dixon does market a pink eraser I don't have any uh, which is a Ticonderoga brand I think they're the same uh, you can buy a pink carnation um, here I get them in a box like this of a dozen and um, non-toxic this is the large size again like the pink pearl they come in many different sizes and uh, this is the larger the 891 the larger size so this is the pink carnation by Dixon I don't know whether or not this is the same eraser material as uh, the eraser tips on the Ticonderoga or Dixon pencils that are also manufactured in China but there's our pink carnation and I seem to remember when I was a kid in our elementary school this is the the eraser that we were given in school was a pink carnation okay next generals all art this is a small eraser probably the smallest one of the batch and this is made in, in the US by the general pencil company in Jersey City New Jersey and I don't know a whole lot more about it um, it's an eraser that's been around for a long time again put compared to the pink carnation here for size you can see it's small um, and it is one of the only two erasers I have that are not beveled so all the other erasers are have beveled edges uh, except these two they're not they're just uh, square rectangular straight-sided so we're gonna look at the generals all art next up pen and gear pink erasers uh, it says on the erasers erases clean and clear uh, pen and gear again is a store brand by Walmart probably now one of the largest suppliers of school supplies anywhere I mean I don't know how many millions of kids go there in the fall to get their school supplies these were uh, really inexpensive probably 50 cents or thereabouts uh, made in China latex free erases clean smudge proof okay pink eraser pen and gear <clears throat> next we have the Wow office works pink eraser um, I like it says the original delete so this eraser was 39 cents and it can be purchased at a Kroger store this is uh, Kroger's sort of house brand of 
school supplies such that it has doesn't have a lot of I mean Kroger has carries school supplies they carry a lot in the school supply season in August and September uh, but on any given day you go into your Kroger at least in my local Kroger and you'll find wow erasers wow pencils uh, other a few other wow school items uh, notebooks uh, pads of paper things like that so this is the office works pink eraser latex free no smudge quality guaranteed uh, made in China so there's that and then last and perhaps not least is we have the Charles Leonard uh, brand big pink it says made in China right there on the front so we know where it's made comes in a three-pack again another inexpensive eraser beveled um, here it was 89 cents um, at my local drugstore so it's in a few languages but it all says latex free soft and pliable for smudge free erasing beveled edges and Charles Leonard is a company that makes all kinds of school supplies uh, I've seen their products um, often over the years so those are the erasers that we're going to be looking at now let's meet the pencils so I wanted to make sure that all the pencils that we were going to test were number two HB I guess I'll let me refocus for the pencils here so let me share with you the pencils that we're going to test these erasers on I wanted to use common pencils that were currently available on the market that an average user might be you know using on a regular basis uh, if you're watching this you're probably like me and you're you know you're really into pencils and uh, so we might have pencils that we really love to write with but they aren't necessarily pencils that the average student in school or the average person working in an office or or what have you may be using so I was going for more common kind of pencils including well we talked about the pink pearl we got to have um, the Dixon Ticonderoga incidentally all of these pencils are number two HB okay that was the other thing we wanted to make sure that I had the same grade of core in every pencil regardless of manufacturer so they're all 2 HB and we're going to start with the Dixon Ticonderoga that is followed by the Golden Bear number two in orange uh, with the blue eraser this is actually made by Musgrave uh, marketed as a Palomino Golden Bear next we have a pencil from the general pencil company now I wanted a semi hex number two and would you I could, I could put my hand on one uh, I know I have a bunch of them I don't know where they are I've got to get organized folks I'm sorry but I did have this generals uh, they, they make a number of other pencils behind besides the semi hex one of them is called the Pacific and this is um, it is a semi hex pencil by the way and it is a number two from the general pencil company next we have a offering from the Musgrave pencil company in Shelbyville Tennessee and this is the harvest this is not the harvest professional series okay you can tell because the ferrule is different with the stripe ferrule this is just the standard harvest the professional fer series has a brighter 
uh, ferrule without the, the maroon band. So this is the standard Musgrave number no. two pencil. Uh, then we have another American made pencil here, the USA Gold in 2HB, uh, made in Tennessee, and we'll be testing that one. Next will be the Pen and Gear. This is the Walmart brand pencil, number two, uh, HB. This pencil is made in India and uh, it's sold at Walmart um, very inexpensively. We have here, for those people who might have something a little bit more deluxe, I've got a Blackwing 602, not a vintage one, but a, you know, a, a contemporary one. And um, so I've got that in the mix as well. Then we have a Papermate Murado Classic number eight, 2HB. These are made in Mexico and has the funny how the Papermate Murado and the Harvest from Musgrave. They're not exactly the same, but they kind of have a similar color scheme on the ferrule. Easy to mix those up at a quick glance. Anyways, Papermate Murado number two. Then we've got a Japanese pencil in the uh, mix here, a uh, Mitsubishi 9800. EW, very nice. I recently reviewed that not too long ago. We've got a German, German pencil in the mix. This is a Staedtler Tradition HB, very nice pencil. Um, uh, another Musgrave, this is their standard uh, school pencil, the Ceres, and in a number two. And. Uh, it last is the Dixon Oreo number two HB pencil. Okay, so there are the pencils that we are going to be testing. And so here's what I did. I know it's like holy smokes. Okay, so here is the grid. I have a tape to a a file folder because after I put down all the lines of graphite the paper got kind of uh, curled up a little bit and so I wanted to give it a little bit more rigidity so I just taped it to this this file folder so what I have is I have the pencils across here so this is Ticonderoga going straight across and then I have our erasers going down. So we're going to start with the pink pearl and we're going to erase down across all of these cores and see how the pink pearl does. And I'll come up with the score for each eraser based on the results. Okay, so that's the plan. Buckle up, we are in for a ride with pink erasers. So I have the erasers ready, and even though I have erasers that I've been using, uh, pink pearls and pink carnations and staples, all of the erasers I'm gonna use for this test are brand new, never used, fresh out of the package, uh, so um, none of them should, you know, I, erasers, uh, uh, all erasers, especially pink erasers over time, can get a little brittle and hard and not work as effectively. So I'm, I unpackaged all the erasers so that we would have some fresh ones to look at. I'm going to start with the pink pearl, but something sort of interesting, uh, just to put the pink pearl up against some others that are beveled uh, since we have a number of them. One thing interesting about the pink pearl 
in comparison to all the other beveled erasers. The Pink Pearl is printed on the reverse side of, as compared to all the others. So you can see that the le here, the left on the staples, the target, the pink carnation, the, the Charles Leonard, the Kroger, the Walmart, the left bezel is visible, but not on the pink pearl. On the pink pearl, and it's the only one, the right bezel, the beveled, uh, beveled edge is visible. Does that mean anything? No, probably not. Uh, but it's just an interesting difference uh, between these erasers. Okay, here we go. Pink Pearl, the classic. Let's um, zoomed in here in focus. Let's start. Ticonderoga. Golden Bear, Pacific, Harvest, USA Gold. Pen and Gear from Walmart. Blackwing 602. Papermate Murado. The Mitsubishi 9800. Statler Tradition. Saris from Musgrave and the Dixon Oriole. Here we are. So, hmm. Um, it did an okay job, but it didn't really lift all the graphite from any of the pencils. There's still some shadowing. It probably did the best on the Oreo here at the bottom in terms of, I'll even try taking a little bit more off. Yeah, but um, you have maybe, maybe an 5% shadow there. But in some cases, like the Ticonderoga, didn't do very well at all. I was interested in how it might have done with the Murado since they're both made by Papermate. And at one time the Murado was boasting that um, it had a pink pearl eraser on the pencil. So there you go. Just okay. All right. Next up is our Staples eraser. Again, starting with the Ticonderoga, Golden Bear, Generals Pacific, moving into the Harvest, USA Gold, Pen and Gear, Blackwing 602, Murado, Mitsubishi 9800, the Statler, Cirrus, Oriole. Okay, well, I think if you want to look, in almost every case, the Staples Eraser to my eye, outperformed that pink pearl. 
pretty good. There's a little, a little shadowing, but uh, I think overall it did a pretty fair job. Okay. Now, our Milan, made in Spain. We will start with the Ticonderoga. Moving into the Golden Bear, the Pacific, the Harvest, the USA Gold, the Pen and Gear, the Murado, the Mitsubishi, Statler Tradition, Musgrave Cirrus, and finally, the Dixon Oriole. Okay, let's see. Well, there you have it. Um, it did okay on a couple, and really not okay. Boy, this Oreo sure is an erasable pencil. But look up here. That's not good. Let me, I wanna make sure I'm not smudging. All right, I think I don't wanna get a false negative. Here we go. I think this is, Mm-hmm. Pretty good down the line. All in all. Our next eraser is the Up and Up from Target. Target. Made in China. And here we go. Again, we start with the Ticonderoga. We move into the Golden Bear. Harvest. USA Gold. The Pen and Gear. The Blackwing 602. Paper Mate Murado. Cirrus. Oreo. Okay, not too bad. I would say it is fairly similar to the Staples eraser. Okay, Next up is our Dixon Pink Carnation. Here we go. Let's start with the Ticonderoga. Golden Bear. Harvest. USA Gold. Blackwing 602. Murado. 9800EW Mitsubishi Statler Harvest Cirrus and the Oreo <laughs> Mhm mm Okay Well you know the Staples the Target the Dixon the Pink Carnation, all doing fairly on par work here. Okay, I believe our only American made eraser is up next, pink eraser that is, the General's All Art. Like the Milan, this does not have a beveled edge, so 
we will just use a corner of the eraser. Ticonderoga, Golden Bear, General Specific, USA Gold, Pen and Gear, that Blackwing 602, Murado, Mitsubishi, Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Go USA. Mm-hmm. General. So, also the smallest eraser of the bunch. You can see what that eraser job cost us. A little corner here of the of the uh, eraser. Our other our other square shaped eraser was the Milan. And again, I use the corner there. It's the same effect. Okay. Walmart pen and gear. Chinese eraser. Erases clean and clear, so it says. Well, let's put it to the test. Here we go. The Dixon. Boy, this is soft. Golden Bear, Generals, Musgrave Harvest, there's our, it's Mate Pencil Pen and Gear, Blackwing 602, the Murado, Mitsubishi Statler, Cirrus Oreo. Okay, fair, fair job. This one is noticeably less firm uh, in terms of its pliability. So um, I can see where the, it being so pliable has advantages, also some disadvantages. Okay. Here's our Kroger eraser, it has no markings on it whatsoever. This is the Wow Office Works, um, and for those uh, people viewing outside of uh, the U.S., uh, Kroger is a large, one of the largest supermarket grocery store chains in the United States, and uh, they're they're headquartered in Cincinnati, Ohio. But they have, they have stores all over the country. They're not all called Kroger. Some of them are called Ralph's or um, I forget how many different names there are. Fry's. But um, the Kroger company is a large supermarket chain. Okay, so let's try this eraser. Also fairly soft. Okay, going through, Harvest, USA Gold, Pen and Gear, the Blackwing, uh, the Mitsubishi, the Statler, Saris, and Oreo. <sighs> wow. Boy, and look at the eraser. Now, if this isn't one of the crummiest yeah well you can see there I mean even going over it again nothing okay well 39 cents we live and learn and then finally the Charles Leonard big pink eraser so here we go Dixon Ticonderoga, Golden Bear, Musgrave Harvest, USA Gold, Pen and Gear from Walmart, Blackwing 602, Murado from Papermate, Mitsubishi 9800.
Statler, Tradition, Musgrave, Saris, whoop, and Dixon Oreo. Eh, and it's okay. All right. Um, we can, I'm going to put the erasers here so that you can see how they wore uh, as we erased the graphite from the page and I will say that most of the erasers will start here didn't lose too much. Here's our pink pearl. The Staples. The Milan. Target. Pink Carnation. All art from Generals. Pen and Gear from Walmart. Kroger. Wow Office Works. And Charles Leonard. So there they are pink erasers. So, is there one that stands out as best? And is there one that stands out as the poorest? Well, I think our poorest eraser is very clear. And that is this one from Kroger. That gets an F grade. Um, as iconic as it is, somewhat disappointing is the Pink Pearl. Uh, it did just barely okay. Um, so, you know what? It gets a C minus. I really think the cleanest erasers here are the Staples and the Pink Carnation. Uh, to me, uh, and uh, to a little lesser extent, the Target. So I will give, again, I'm kind of grading on a scale here, but I'll give the Staples an A minus. I'll give the Pink Carnation an A minus, and I will give the Target a B plus. Um, I will give Generals a B plus, and then uh, Charles Leonard is a B minus. Pen and Gear is a B minus, and I'll give a C plus to the Milan. So those are my grades. And this was fun to do. And we think of pink erasers as, again, the iconic image of what a pencil eraser is. Uh, and I think those of us who have used erasers a long time, well, we can appreciate a pink eraser. I think we also know that there are a lot of other erasing options out there. Um, and now you have, of course, you have the polymer erasers, the vinyl erasers, um, the PVC erasers, right? Uh, as well as now there are these foam erasers. And so there's a lot of other materials, including, by the way, natural rubber erasers, which... Um, uh, we'll take a look at as well in another video. So I'll look forward to doing more eraser tests and comparisons in the future. But in the meantime, I appreciate you spending all this time with me uh, today as we really did a deep dive into a variety of pink erasers and how they performed against number two HB pencils. 
If you like what I do here, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll look forward to seeing you again real soon, right here on Always Analog.